Hey guys, in the last video I said I was going to talk a bit about the programming I've been doing. Um, but I was out and about for a walk, I thought I'd make a quick video and then I will film the other one tomorrow, upload it tomorrow. Um, I made a version of Snake within the window, Windows command prompt. It's pretty nifty. I think you'll be impressed, unless you know how I do it, and then you'll be like, oh, I don't know what he's doing, which, essentially I don't, in the sense that, uh, I'm using a lot of uh, API references and stuff, and generally it's just quite confusing. Um, so today I just wanted to talk about social anxiety. Now, social anxiety is something I used to deal with quite intensely when I was young. Um, even around friends, people that I know for a long time, I'd get insanely anxious and nervous, and, um, it took me a long time to work through that, um, and one of those things that helped me was practicing the things that made me feel fear, and one of those things was just generally being in public, um, and so I started walking at night so that I could practice essentially walking around in public without people there. Um, now, it obviously depends on your area. I've been on a couple of walks at night time where it's like, uh, damn, that, uh, that fella's following me for a little bit too long. And You know, I mean, you got to stay safe. You can't just be walking around at night time willy-nilly. I mean, uh, out here, I'm a fucking, those are the watts. I'd be literally surprised. Literally. Uh, sometimes I speak terribly and it upsets me. But it doesn't matter. Basically, if you're struggling with anxiety. Um, well, the biggest thing that ha helped me with my social anxiety was cognitive uh, behavioral therapy. I think that's it. Like, uh, um,. Like exposure, like just working my way up to exposing myself to more and different scenarios that cause me fear. Um, it feels nice to not be afraid. Uh, being afraid causes a lot of stress, and stress ain't healthy, man. Stress is pretty bad for you. Um, what else could I say about it? Um, well, social anxiety is sort of the manifestation of an intense, uh, an intense ability to understand the, or maybe like a failable, basically, uh, the way we humans work to create social expectation is that we shame people. You know, your mate does something weird, you're like, fuck, get a load of weird guys doing weird stuff. Everybody look at the weird guy. And he gets embarrassed and he doesn't do it again. Um, and social anxiety is sort of like the intense of that. It's like everything I'm doing is a social mistake and I'm being shamed for it. And essentially it's not true. Most of the time, people don't give a fuck. People don't care what you're doing, what you're saying, as long as it's within normal human ranges. As long as it's not abnormal. There's a truck coming, so... Um, if you start doing abnormal stuff, people start trying to shame you, and then you'll feel that anxiety, that social anxiety, that shame. Um, but I mean... You can just ignore it. You don't have to listen to people trying to shame you. And if you take a look at uh, how different cultures define what is shameful, you start to see that things aren't inherently shameful. They're shameful because we decided they're shameful. If I told you guys I bought a dog from the pet store and I cooked that, that little guy up and I ate him for dinner, you'd be like, yo, what the fuck? That's fucked up, you know? You'd want to shame me for that, which is understandable. I'm not going to eat a dog. I wouldn't want to eat a dog. And 
considering my culture, I'd probably shame someone for eating a dog. I'd be like, yo, that's fucked up. <laughs> Why'd you eat little Fido there, buddy? <laughs> um, but there's cultures where it's perfectly acceptable. And, you know, so that's what I say is something about the inherency of what it is to be doing something shameful. Things aren't inherently shameful. They become shameful because humans say that they are. And there's a lot of aspects of society that is like that. But generally my point is you shouldn't really give a fuck because they don't care. Most of the time they don't care. Uh, other people that is about what you're doing. So you just do your thing. Um, I have one more to talk about in the coming months or coming up to December and the New Year's got a lot of plans going on. Uh, and I'll be starting a series to talk about that and prepare about that and have everything ready essentially. Um, oh shit, I forgot to say, uh, I think I forgot to say, uh, hey what's up guys, it's John, John Nighttime here. That's supposed to be my new name, my new, hey, what's up guys, it's John, smoking crack at night time, but, uh, I forgot, so I do it now, <laughs> sorry about this video being dark, I don't really have a, I just use my phone and shit, but, uh, thanks for listening to me ramble, uh, hope you guys, uh, watch tomorrow to see me, uh, see my snake game, I built the new Windows console with the C++ programming, language and that's about it i'm pretty sure so thanks for watching see ya